Hello, YouTubers. Thank you for giving me some time out of your day. Today, I'm making Chinese Szechuan fish. And I'm not kidding you. This is going to be one of the best things that you've ever put into your mouth. Oh, my God. If you like Chinese food, and even if you don't like Chinese food, this is an amazing recipe to have in your repertoire. It will definitely make you look like an international superstar, and it's not that hard. It requires a few more ingredients than I usually use, but it's well worth it, I promise you. One tip that I definitely want to give you is to use an oil that you want to eat, the oil that's kind of healthy. So I'm using coconut oil with this recipe because the oil that you fry the fish in is actually what you're going to be consuming. You're going to make a sauce out of the oil. So I like to use coconut oil because it's a very healthy oil. What I'm doing is washing and drying my fish here and I have this big gigantic uh, sea bream fish. I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper and I've cut slits in it and I'm actually seasoning inside the slits as well. I have some garlic here and this recipe requires a lot of vegetables. So a lot of garlic especially, a lot of green onion. I believe I did a whole bulb of garlic for this recipe. If you have a big bulb of garlic, you might not need the whole bulb, you can use a half a bulb. But it is a garlicky uh, kind of fish, but you don't taste a sharp garlic taste at all. It's just delicious. You want to fine mince your garlic. Here I have a red onion and I'm going to also fine mince my red onion. I'm going to cut the onion in half and mince one side and the other side I'm just going to make slices and I'm going to put those in a little later in the cooking process of frying the fish. And here I have some green onion and the secret for slicing green onion is to just cut the stalk down to manageable size pieces, pile them together, and then slice them together. I'm dicing some carrots. And also I, I want to fine dice these because I want them to cook at the same time as the other vegetables. You don't always have to prepare all your ingredients in the beginning, slicing all the fruit, vegetables, what they call pieces of cloth. You don't have to do that. But with this recipe, it's important because you're going to be adding everything at the same time and you want it to be ready when the fish is ready for the vegetables to be added. I'm adding my coconut oil, quite a bit of it, because I'm going to be frying the fish in this oil. Now I'm making a sauce with cornstarch, Japanese soy sauce, you can use regular soy sauce, rice, wine, vinegar, that's Japanese also, and just a little bit of sugar, maybe about a tablespoon of sugar, you don't want it too sweet. And I've tasted it. I just added a little bit more soy sauce to it. Vinegar. I've added some it's ginger or ginger paste as well. So what you're going to do is put your fish in the frying pan and you're going to keep bathing and bathing your fish with the oil to crisp both sides. So while the bottom side is cooking, you want to crisp the top side as well, and it helps to cook the fish quickly and evenly. 
So the, the one side is brown and crispy and I turned it over and I'm gonna crisp up the next side and I'm gonna bathe the top of the fish to keep that side cooking evenly and crisping up as well. So when your fish is just about done, you want to add your vegetables. I'm adding all of my vegetables at one time except the sauce and the sliced onion that I sliced, the one half that I sliced at the beginning. And you want to bathe the fish in these vegetables just like you did with the oil because the oil is still there, the fish is still cooking. You're getting the flavor all throughout that fish by bathing it this way. Now I've just added the sliced onion. And now I'm adding my sauce. And I'm bathing the fish again with the sauce. You want to do this only for about one minute, a minute and a half, and I'm plating it. I'm plating the whole entire fish. It's beautiful. You bring this to the table, you will look amazing, like an international superstar. I've just lifted up the top layer of flesh and put that onto the plate, and I'm taking out the backbone of the fish as well as the side bones. And this fish doesn't have a lot of small bones in it either, so it's easy to remove most of the bones. You might come across a few, but it doesn't matter. You're going to be eating this mostly with your hands, with a fork or chopsticks, whatever you choose to eat with. This is a get down and dirty kind of meal. Get into it. And you want to get every drop of that sauce because it's that good. You want to get all of it. With every bite of fish in your mouth, you're going to want some of that sauce. So I'm just serving this with white rice because there's a lot of vegetables already in it. Very simple dish. Very delicious. Please try it. I promise you, you will not regret it. Good to the last drop, guys. Plate clean, licked everything. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. Please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. 